As you probably know, airlines are getting stricter and stricter with their baggage allowances, especially many of the budget airlines oversee. So it's important to reassess your airplane essentials and figure out what is non-negotiable and what can actually be left at home. On me today, I am wearing or carrying all of those items that I have deemed for myself to be non-negotiable airplane essentials. Now, you'll notice that I'm utilizing a couple of those travel hacks in order to get these items on me. For one, I am wearing a jacket with multiple pockets. I love this cargo jacket and I can't tell you how happy I am that everything cargo is coming back into style this year. I've got four pockets here, plus these little pockets up here that I'm actually not even using for anything right now. I've used this scarf to kind of disguise the fact that I have a very full fanny pack tucked up under my arm inside this jacket. Hopefully able to sneak by that airline attendant and not get charged the extra fee for having an extra bag. Now for today's demonstration, I am wearing my smaller fanny pack tucked up under here in the jacket, which I'll show you in just a second. But in reality, I would probably use this sling bag instead of the fanny pack. It's a little bit larger. It spreads the items over a longer structure so that it doesn't get as bulky as this. Like I tried to put this in the back of my jacket and it looked like that. Uh, it's just a big old bubble back there. It was not attractive. I found that tucking it up under my arm here and then I can use the scarf to sort of disguise that lump in order to slide my way onto the airplane before I take it off. But I would probably put everything in here instead of carrying it in the little fanny pack. But for today, I wanted to show you how you could get all of the items in to a much smaller bag. Let's go through what I have on me that I have packed that I have determined are my non-negotiable airplane essentials. Most of the big bulky stuff I have put in my pockets. Now I have put the most essential item probably to all of us, which is my phone, is in my back jeans pocket. I don't know that any of us would be able to live without our phones at this point in our lives. In addition to my phone, on my phone is a new phone wallet case that I just recently got. And if you missed my Amazon's new travel finds video that I did last week, I will have it linked in the description below. This wallet case also acts as a stand. It's got a little kickstand here so I could watch movies or YouTube videos during the flight if I want to. The next thing I have in my pocket, because if I'm gonna be watching videos, I need to have earbuds. So I have my earbuds in one of my pockets here because again, it's a little too bulky to put in the fanny pack. The next thing I have is a collapsible water bottle because my regular water bottle is so big and bulky and it takes up so much room, especially if you have that limited space in those tight little budget airlines. This collapsible water bottle, I think it collapses down to the smallest water bottle I've ever seen. It pops open pretty easily. So you can just pull it up like that. And then if you want more, there's a bottom, ooh, and it whistles at you. <laughs> so you have a nice size little water bottle here. And then when you're all done, you just smush it all back up and it's small again. Probably one of the coolest collapsible water bottles I've ever seen. For more entertainment, I have my Kindle because I don't travel anywhere without my Kindle. I just, I just love getting into a good book when I'm flying. And the last thing in my pockets is something that's a little unusual and something I haven't really talked about before. When you're traveling minim minimalistically, <laughs> it's hard to say. When you're traveling minimalistically, you start to look for other options. This is actually a toddler pillowcase that has a zipper. So if I want to have a pillow and I get tired and I really do want to take a nap on the plane, I can just take this pillowcase and I can take my jacket and fold it up and maybe other pieces of clothing that I have packed in my backpack and I can put them in the pillowcase and then just create a pillow that I can rest my head on against the window. Because it's so small and light, it doesn't take up hardly any room. A new little hack, well, it's not really a new hack, but it's a hack that I decided to look further into, especially for minimalist traveling. Now let's move on to the fanny pack. 
Like I said before, I wear the scarf. I love wearing a scarf on a plane anyway because it gives an extra layer if you need it. But in this case, it also does a really good job of disguising the strap going across my neck. So now that we have emptied out the jacket, we will take the jacket off and I do have a sweater on underneath this. <laughs> all the layers, all the layers, ladies, because that's what we need when we're traveling, right? So here is my fanny pack and it it is packed a little full. I'm gonna start with the outer pocket. This fanny pack only has two pockets and it's a, it's a pretty small fanny pack. In fact, I'll put the measurements up here so you'll know the exact size, but you can see I'm not a very big person and it's, it's still pretty small on my chest here. So in this front pocket, I tried to put the things that I would want to have a little more readily accessible. I mean, it's gonna be easy to get into this whole thing anyway. These are the things that I'd want kind of straight off the top. First off, I have these little hand sanitizer packets that I actually picked up at the dollar store. So they're individual little packets, which I'm not thrilled about the extra plastic, but again, when you're choosing to travel minimally, you kind of have to make some sacrifices. Next, I have my earplugs. If I don't have my earbuds in listening to a video or a podcast or something, it is really, really nice to have some earplugs, especially if you end up with screaming babies on that plane. You know what I'm talking about. One of my biggest necessities, and that is a little pack of Kleenex. Again, I got these at the dollar store. I think there's probably only like 10 in there. It's enough to get me through a plane flight for sure. These next two items are really important for fresh breath and if you have issues with your ears popping when you fly. So I have a little pack of gum. Orbit is my favorite gum and I really like the peppermint. And spearmint peppermint flavors will also help if you start to get a little nauseous while you're flying. So I also have the mint. So one of these two, if you're flying and you start to get a little air sick, you might want to take a mint or start chewing on some peppermint or spearmint, spearmint, spearmint gum, and that might help settle your tummy. Let's see. I feel like it's Christmas and I'm like opening my stocking. Continuing on the whole idea of keeping your mouth fresh, I have a couple of little disposable toothbrushes and the little plaque cleaner toothpicky type things. Got both of these at the dollar store as well. So these are really nice if you eat something on the plane and you wanna be able to clean your teeth or you just feel like you need more of a freshen up than the gum or the mint is going to give you. It's nice to have these. Next in here is something that I keep on hand because I used to bite my nails all the time. Like until I was in my early 30s, I would bite my nails down to the quick. And then I started letting them grow out. And once they got grown out, I really like to take good care of them. And I can't stand if they get caught on something and I get a snag. So I always, always, always have a nail file with me. So I picked up a couple of little tiny ones that I could throw in there and have just in case I broke a nail or got snagged because when you're traveling, you never know what's going to happen. And lastly, in this front pocket is something that I am bringing along because there are a lot of times that your carry-on bag might end up having to be checked. In fact, more often than not, if you are flying a budget ticket on a major airline or perhaps that budget airline doesn't have enough room for your baggage either. So I am carrying my tile with me. So if my carry-on bag does have to get checked, I can put the tile card into that carry-on bag and be able to track that bag no matter what happens. We heard all those nightmare stories last year of bags being lost for weeks. It's a business card size. It takes up almost no room in this fanny pack and it's just a good insurance policy. This first item, in the back part is something that is super important to me and that is Clorox wipes. Now you could just take a Ziploc bag and pull a couple of Clorox wipes and put them in that Ziploc bag and put them in here, but I find the travel packs are just so convenient. If you guys have followed me at all, you know that I love to wipe down everything around me in the airplane before I sit down for my flight. I was doing this long before we had the issues with COVID. It's just a nice way to make sure that you're not going to get sick on whatever trip that you're going on and that everything is kind of clean around you, right? <laughs> in here as well, I have had a lot of people say that one of their most important items that they want to bring on the flight with them is lotion. Well, 
Regular lotion is a liquid, so you would have to have that in your liquids bag and then kind of move it around if you wanted to have it in your personal item or on you while you're applying. The first time I found one of these was probably three or four years ago and I, I used it up and I've never gotten a replacement because they're kind of hard to find, although I did find this on Amazon. It is this solid lotion and this one's honeysuckle and oh my gosh, it smells so good. But it's a little bar like that and you just take it out like you would a bar of soap and you rub it on your hands or wherever else that you feel like you need to have lotion. I do have some hot spots on the palms of my hands that have just stayed dry all the time. So I do like to have this type of lotion when I'm traveling because I don't have to worry about it being in my liquids bag or not. I can just throw it in my personal item bag and we are good to go. Another very non-negotiable item when I'm traveling is a power bank. I have my little anchor power bank in here and I have my new cable that I also talked about in that video I did last week that has the three charging heads on here. So I can charge any of the items that I have with me. My headphones, my phone, and my Kindle can all be charged from this one cable. I just have that all tucked in with my power bank here. It is not one of the power banks that has been recalled. I've actually had this for quite a few years. Last, but definitely not least, are those important airplane snacks. But these two cheese sticks and bag of nuts is the bare minimum that I would pack to take on the plane. If you're looking for some suggestions on how to kind of level up your airplane snacks, I have a video over here that you should watch next. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.